Outlander. And there was all this buzz. I mean, obviously it's coming from a successful book series, but did you have any idea the show was going to be as big as it was? I was very hopeful, you know, because it was a successful book series and there were pre-existing fans. Uh, we went out and did a uh, did an event for fans in New York City months before uh, the, the show was broadcast. In fact, I think it was a year before the show was broadcast. And I uh, brought just some concept art and, you know, we hadn't cast a lot of it yet. And it was just very rough. But we packed that house. And those those people that came to that event were passionate and thrilled and excited. And I was... It was amazing because there was no show yet. There were just the books, but the fans turned out. So it gave me hope right from the beginning that if we did this right, it could be a phenomenon because there was there were literally millions of people who loved these books. And if we uh, did the book adaptation right, they would come to the show. And that's what that's what happened. Uh, the show would be nothing without the chemistry between your two leads. I mean, that that's so key. Uh, talk a little bit about when you knew you had the right people and sort of talk about that casting process, because it must have been so daunting going in, trying to figure out, you know, the, the two right people. Yeah, it was tricky. You know, at the beginning, I said, uh, we're going to cast Claire first because she'll be the easiest to find because she's a smart 20th century British woman. And there's lots of them. And that'll be we'll find her quickly. But Jamie's going to be tough. How do you find the king of men, this this heroic figure, this Scott, you know, that no one uh, that's going to be the one that kills us. And of course, it was exactly the opposite. We found Sam. He was the first cast member. We just saw his tape and we went, oh, my God, there he is. It was just like, boom. And then it was the great hunt for Claire. And we read a lot of actresses. We saw a lot of tape. And it was tricky. We, it was really trying to find a very special quality. I, I always said that, you know, I wanted Claire had to be really smart and you had to see her thinking. And, you know, she had to be this really capable, interesting person. And she had to marry up really well with Sam. And so we didn't find her until very late in the game. And she taped her own, uh, her own audition and sent it in. And it was discovered. And we put her and Sam together for a t for a, a what's called a chemistry test where you put them both on a camera and just let them play a scene together to see how it feels but we knew we just were like pretty certain from her tape that she was the one and then when we saw the chemistry test we were convinced and once we cast her she was on a plane to Scotland within a day and shooting like 2 days later i mean we were so close to the beginning of production it was really starting to scare everyone though oh my god we have to cast this role that has to be, that's crazy that you were that close. Yeah, it was very crazy. That's, I, I can't imagine also the, the network must have been on your back. Like, are you effing kidding me? You oh, need to be no. filming. They were, you know, they were worried too. But the, the thing when you're shooting, when you're casting a pilot, the network's right there with you. The network and the studio and the producers, we're all in the throes of it. And we're all struggling to find it. So we all have to agree. So it wasn't like we were just off doing our thing and then would tell them they were, part and parcel of the whole conversation. So they knew, they were like, oh my God, we've got to find somebody. Uh, when you, it's based on a hugely, obviously so many books. How did you figure out um, in terms of, did you go in to the network when you were pitching it and say, this is what I'm envisioning for five years. This is what I'm envisioning for multiple seasons. Or were you sort of just like, how, how, how were those conversations early on? Uh, in the original pitch, I pretty much said, uh, here's what the pilot story is. And I could, I could kind of pitch them the basic of the pilot because I had that pretty much in my head of what that was going to be. And then I gave them a sketch of the first season generally. And I just said, and it's going to be sort of a book, a book per season and we'll keep that going. And I left them a stack of books to read, which they actually did. And then they picked up the show because they kind of saw the potential and they could see how well this would lay out into an ongoing series. Um, talk, I, I know that for, for people that are cur aren't current on the show, uh, what can you tease people about what's coming up and, and what's going on in the development process in terms of, you know, with everything shut down and whatnot? Yeah, I mean, uh, coming up, you know, as we go forward, we, we've, people who saw this last season, the fifth season, saw that we were always trying to pull from certain things from book six and other books in the series. We've always been sort of free to kind of play around with some of the chronology and take th borrow things from different books. So we're not, you know, perfect about a book a season. And we'll continue that going forward. I mean, the, the, over, the, the large arc that's still defining where we are is we're in the new world, we're in the American colonies and the American revolution is getting closer and closer. So that's like a big thing. that's going to be, you know, moving front and center at the, the further that we get into season six. 
if I'm not mistaken, there's been talk about an Outlander spinoff. Um, what's the status of that? Uh, we're still talking about it. You know, Stars is interested, and we're definitely in conversations. Sony and uh, Stars are in conversations about a, about a, a spinoff series. Yeah. Do you guys? Is it one of these things where you're still figuring out what that can be, or do you sort of have an idea but you're not saying? Yeah, we have we have we have more than one idea. We have a couple of ideas, and we're just yeah, we're, we're still in internal conversations, so we're not really prepared to go out and say what it is.